Hello and welcome to a new tutorial on Excel Bonanza and today we're going to learn about a new feature that's been added to Microsoft Excel which is getting data from PDF documents. In order to have that feature you need to have Office 365 and you need to be in on the insider channel and to do that you gotta go to file and then you gotta go to account and then make sure here that you click on change level and that you are on the insider choose insider and click ok I'm currently on insider so I do have that feature and this feature you can use if you go to the data tab on the ribbon here get data from file from PDF now let's check out the PDF document that we're going to use here this is a list of residential development charges and also non-residential development charges and rates downloaded from the city of Toronto website and this is publicly available data and here is the website I'll leave you the link in the description and I've downloaded the development charges and rates effective from November 2019 so you can download that and follow along if you would like okay so let's start extracting the data and let's say I want to extract the residential development charges and also the non-residential development charges so these two tables here so let's start doing that okay so here's the folder containing my file here here's the, the PDF file that I want to deal with and a very easy way to import the file is to actually copy the file itself and then go here to data and then get data from file from PDF and just paste the file just paste what you copied and it will just take you right away to the file press open and now the file is being loaded here and as you can see we've got two tables that we want to extract so it tells us what tables that we have and what pages that we have so we've got two pages and each page contains a table and we're going to extract these two tables here but I want to select multiple items because I want to select both tables here so this is what I'm going to do and then I'm actually not going to load the data right away I want to do some transformations on the data because I want to do some data cleaning first here because the data needs some cleaning so I'm going to click on transform data and now it's going to start loading the data here so we've got the first table and so the the first table is actually the residential charges so i'm just going to name it here residential charges i know that from the pdf and here i'm just going to call this one the second one non residential charges i actually double clicked on the name in order to start renaming it this is all i did i just double clicked and i'm able to rename it so here this data needs some cleaning to be done as you can see here first of all if we check the pdf itself on the first table here you can see here there is a bit of a title here at the very top which is a residential charge by unit type here this title here is at the very top but i i don't want this title because i know that these are residential charges from the title of the table itself so i'm gonna filter off this residential charge by unit type i'm just gonna filter off that row and now after I filtered off that row, you can see here that the first row after that row here, you can see that it's got my headers more or less. So I want to actually promote that row. So I'm going to go here to home and then I'm going to use the first row as headers. I'm just going to click this option, use first row as headers. As you can see here, more or less, I've got my titles correctly. However, you can see here on, on some of the titles that the title has been split into different rows so I'm just gonna start typing it manually and then I'm gonna filter off these rows here okay so I'm gonna refer to my PDF here in order to start typing the titles manually you can see here that the first title is okay singles and semis second title is multiples two plus bedrooms so I'm just gonna write here multiples two plus bedrooms and the third one is multiples one bed and batch multiples one bed and batch and then afterwards is apartments two plus bedrooms apartments two plus bedrooms so you can see here that the process is not perfect but it's a huge improvement over how we used to deal with pdfs before and now it's apartments one bed and batch apartments one bed and batch and now it's dwelling room this is typed correctly and percentage of charge this is typed correctly as well so we don't have a problem with these and now here in order to remove these 
partial titles on the first two rows what we can do is you can see here we don't have any nulls except on these rows so we can actually filter off the nulls and now we have our table ready also on these columns here we can select the first column and then i'm gonna hold shift and select the last column and then i'm gonna change the data type to a currency and actually power query is gonna understand the dollar signs and it's it's gonna transform that into a number that is in a form of currency we know that these are in canadian dollars and we can add canadian dollars to the titles we can do whatever we want if you want to do that and uh, now it is more or less ready here and also the percentage of charge you can see here that power query has identified this as percentage as well it's identified it as a percentage column but i transformed these columns here into a currency data type and then for the non-residential charges you can see here that they are okay they don't need any interference or work from my end so i'm just gonna load both of them so close and load to and i want to load both of them actually to a new worksheet here into a, a table so each of them will be loaded into a table in a new worksheet so table new worksheet i'm just gonna click ok here and now as you can see here they're gonna be loaded into two new worksheets here sheet three and sheet four and i do have my data i can even do more transformation to this data and unpivot this data even and then make the data in a tabular form to put it into a data model i can do whatever i want okay so that was a quick overview about the new feature here which is importing from pdfs that's been added to microsoft excel remember it's only available in office 365 or it's now called microsoft 365 and you need to be enrolled in the insider channel thank you so much guys for watching this video and, and if you like the video please make sure to like and share the video and subscribe to the youtube channel for more tutorials thank you so much i'll see you on the next one if you like the video press the like button and share it with your friends subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified with all the new videos and please make sure to follow me on social media and subscribe to the newsletter so that you can get all the new updates and videos. You will find the links below in the description. If you have any comments, suggestions or feedback, please leave them below in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.